You wake up after a big night out and you need something in your tummy, and today we really do, well, I do, Phil doesn't, uh, something deliciously gooey. Hangover food, we have Where are you going? <laughs> it's hungry, you're hungry, that's what it is. <laughs> it's just like you were drawn like a magnet to the food. Phil Vickery's here to sort out with some, he's got posh cheese toasties. Why is it posh? I did a bit of research before we go on to that. Did you? Yes. And the hangover cure should be something sweet. A lot, I... a lot of research says that's why people drink cola. Yeah. Things like honey, sweet things, you apparently cure Is your hangover right? quicker. I don't, do you believe that? I don't know. I'm not... I just, I'm just tired. <laughs> I just want to get back into bed. Right. What time do you get but... to bed? Uh, four. Well, there you go. I see? had two hours. Self-inflicted. Right. Let's Why did you ask me that? I'm just curious. I don't know why. I just did. <laughs> I just did. Anyway, here it is. There yeah. you go. Now, this is a classic croque monsieur, which is an old Parisian restaurant service. So, there oh. on the right. Look at that. So, it's a toasted cheese sandwich with a twist. Oh, look, and, the egg. Oh, ah. Good gracious, man. <laughs> what what are you that? doing? I did that. That is a... Uh, a croque madame, which is a, a croque monsieur with an egg on I top. I'm all over it. I'll tell you <laughs> that right now. Now, let's start with the croque monsieur. Now, here we go. So this is, this is um, a sourdough bread, or sometimes you use ciabatta. I tend to use um, plain good old good white old, bread. Yeah. I think it sticks together nicely in a sandwich, yeah. especially when you've got a hangover. Mm. Uh, and very simple. What I've done here is I've literally just um, uh, uh, basted that with a bit of butter. You don't have to oil. Toasted it on one side. In, in under the grill? Under the grill or yeah. in the oven, it's really, really... You can even fry it if, really, if yeah. you want to. Then I'm going to add to that a little bit of mustard. So I've got, I'm using English mustard. Obviously, in France, they would use Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. And like any... Well, we come on to a white sauce in a minute. It needs a bit of mustard, I think. Otherwise, it just tastes a bit bland. OK. So in it goes like that. Then I'm adding two slices of ham. So, yeah. so what you do is you fold the ham over. It should be slightly thicker than that, really. So that fits in Thick there. ham? Yeah, thicker sliced. Oh. You know, it was like a, like a, a slab, really, of okay. ham like that. And then Gruyere cheese. Now, you, you can use cheddar, but in France, obviously, use Gruyere cheese. And uh, around about 100 grams in that goes. Now, what you mustn't do is add too much, because it will be too greasy. So you want about 100 grams, 50 grams to 75 grams per portion in that oh. goes. I then add a little bit more mustard, just a little blob on top, so when you get to the centre, you get that lovely mustardy kick. Are you about to sandwich these together? I am. A bit of salt. Bit of pepper, and I use obviously um, ground pepper here, but I will use cracked pepper when I'm fixing that fried eggs. Yes. Sorry, Phil. So you can see it. Oh, it's all right. I like the yolk. I just I'm not entirely sure I could even look at the white. Right then, <laughs> sandwich that together like that. Okay. Press that down. Oh. All right. Press it down. Yep. It's really important. If you don't press yep. it down, it falls to pieces. Well done. In the oven. Yeah. Okay. Or under a grill. You want to give that around about four to five minutes so the cheese starts to melt, but yeah. it's not too hot. Yeah. At which point you get this one here. This is that type of bread that when you bite into hurts. It can, you're absolutely right, and it's, it's chewy. It hurts. It can it's your be gum. too chewy. I don't want a hurty bread on a hangover. Especially, especially the crust. You've got to be really careful. Yeah. Now, white sauce. I'm, I'm going to demonstrate that really very quickly. Um, this is a basic white sauce, bechamel sauce, which mm -hmm. is basically flour and butter or margarine. Yeah. It's up to you. Thicken with a bit of uh, over, over heat like this. Mm -hmm. So here we got a flour and what we call a bain marie. Oh, you put that together first. Oh, it's so much easier. It's so much easier. Oh, my gosh. We do it all the time, but honestly, it, it absolutely works, and you very rarely get lumps. So here i got um, milk just simmering. I just rain this in, like so, like that. You just chuck it in, and you just stir it. You get invited. And then do you add the rest? Yeah, we'll do it, to the consistency that you like. And you can see... Wow. If I had a whisk, pepper. you see, that'll just come to the ball. It's thickening nicely. What you don't want is a really thick sauce, because when it sets, it goes hard anyway. You firm, yeah. firm up. Oh, this one here. Mm -hmm. So, at this point, what I then do is add a little bit more mustard. Good gracious. Not a lot. You are loving your oh, mustard. Hangover cure. Is it? Is it? Mustard, yeah. You just make that up. No, it does. Does it? It, it gets your sinuses, doesn't it? You it told you us up. in the break. It gets you going. And then, then uh, a moment ago, a bit, a bit sweeter things. Oh, now that's, you're that's telling that's me it's, it's mustard. There's lots of research. Cola. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> and, a, and a very, very fatty sandwich. Anyway, white sauce goes on top like that. Again, it's quite <laughs> thick. <laughs> you know, pepper. In the oven. Can we just give me a big bag? <laughs> <laughs> In the oven, this oven here, and it comes out like this one here. Oh, it comes out like this one here, which we did slightly earlier. Now, what you've got, you see, you've got that lovely white sauce. Yeah. Like that. Now, Phil, I know, I know you're not feeling particularly good, but I'm just going to take these off here. That does look good. It does. It looks good it, now. So it's the cooked. sauce doesn't, if it's too runny, obviously we walk everywhere, run everywhere. But if you cut this on the angle, oh, you 
let's look, look at that. Look at that. Uh, earlier, oh, you can my see gosh. That. Phil, do you know what I fancy? Go on. How do you eat that? Well, I'm going to I'm going to cut even half, so you can you? Little, little, tiny little bit inside. Is that all right for you? Yeah, that's perfect. That's better. What are you, what are you doing, Phil? I don't know what he's doing. Oh, you get all the bits. <laughs> oh, you want to eat the I just knew that was happening. Do this. I'm, just I'm going to add the cheesy the bits. Mm. Now, if you were serving a, yeah. a croque madame, look away, Phil. The fried egg goes on top like so. And there you go. You can definitely taste the mustard. It's lovely. Lovely. Don't look at that, Phil. Oh, oh that might offend you. Man. Right.